going on guys? Um, it's your boy, what, technical centre-backs, aka Qualms. This is just a quick one, another quick one, to do with the Lukaku video. I don't know if, like, like a lot of people are talking about the Lukaku uh, clip. There's a few clips that are going around on Twitter, social media, etc. And isn't it funny, yeah? Well, the first thing I'm going to ask you, have you watched it? Have you watched the full interview? Because a lot of people are just watching these clips and then they're just making a complete whole judgement on the man. Now, I don't know him, you know what I mean? But... I think from watching the interview, you kind of get a bit more insight into like why he is how he is and you know how strong he is mentally and like all the things that he's had to go through as a youngster. And isn't it funny like as people like we always just judge, we always just judge people just from a clip or from a picture and like we just take it and run with it. Um, what I got when I watched the interview, because I watched it, it was probably about an hour and a half. Some people would be like, I ain't got an hour and a half to spare, but I guess... I'm on my holiday, so I've got enough time. So it's just one of them ones where he started off talking about his family, you know, where he's come from, you know, just the hardship he's had to go through, like with his mum and his dad and being evicted like four times. So he was he was talking about how mentally strong he is. And I think that's like a key aspect of to be a, like a successful person, uh, to be a successful athlete as well, especially in this like day and age with all like people bombarding you with things and telling you that you're this and you're that. So he's, he was saying, basically saying, like, it doesn't matter what people say, like, I'm, I'm strong. As long as my mum and my dad are happy and my family are happy, that's all that matters. Like, I don't care what other people say. Um, then he went on to talk about, obviously, like, handling. They were asking him questions about, you know, handling being a footballer at such a young age. He's always been, he's had to live two lives. Obviously, at school, when he's been at school, he's obviously a student. But then when he's at home, you know, he's more seen as a man because he's, like, the main provider when he started playing at Anderlecht he was talking about like Chelsea going to Chelsea and like his experiences at Chelsea it was all quite interesting it was very interesting but like I said he was talking about I think then they kind of got to the juicy bit like they started talking about you know him at Man United and he was just saying that he feels that one he, him Sanchez and Pogba used the scapegoats now, 100%, yeah, we can agree, especially after what's happened with Pogba, you can agree, like, they have been used as scapegoats. Him and Pogba. Sanchez, on the other hand, Sanchez, he, 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 can't, he can't escape because he's been poor. Um, but he even said that he hasn't been playing the best. But he also said that the rest of the team hasn't been playing the best, but it just seems like everyone's just onto him, which I agree. Then they were talking about... Um, he was saying that with all the rumours that were going on, he said, like, it's, it's just like in anything, if you're in a job or if you're part of a, a family or whatever, you're part of a team, like you want to feel valued. And he said that he felt that he wasn't valued at Man United. And I can actually feel him for that. Like I actually respect him for saying that. And he said, you know, the whole time that they had the rumours coming out and saying that he wants to leave or he's not happy where he is, not once did Ole Gunnar Solskjaer come out and just say, look, um, we need you at the club, like, we love you, like, you know, Lukaku's staying with us, he's in our plans or anything like that. They didn't say, well, apparently, according to Lukaku, he's saying, no one said anything. And then, so he just said, well, boy, like, if that's how you lot feel, like, you don't really care, I might as well leave. So, hence the reason why he left. And, you know what, I don't blame him. I'm surprised Pogba stayed, because the amount of stick that he got from the fans as well, that was a big thing. But, <clears throat> I think the main thing I'm trying to say is, like, and then he was talking about, what did he say? Where the clip, the main clip that everyone's talking about is that he's saying that people, he was in Miami and other teammates were, you know, saying that they won the World Cup or whatever. And he was just like, well, you didn't even get a medal or something like that. And it's just like, that was the only clip that everyone judged him on. Even though what he was saying, like, and then people were saying, look, you haven't even won a trophy yet in your career, which is true. And the amount of goals that he scored is quite you know he scored a lot of goals he he knows he's a good striker and for his national team he's like one of the best he's like the top it was he the leading goal scorer for belgium which is like creating history but what was also interesting and when he was saying that the type of striker that he is he feels that he is he's not your hold up play you know like long ball to lukaku holds it up and then feeds up you know feeds it to other players he said he's more of a guy that's face onto the goal run at the goal do you know what i mean he feels like he's more of a threat and he says a lot of people think that he he's one of them hold up players but he's not or well, he says that he's not and i feel like maybe Ole Gunnar Solskjaer probably made him that way or probably said that 
he was like that and probably used him in you know practice or not practice in training and their drills as the hold up man so he probably wasn't happy with the position that he was playing but then again that's look when I see certain man like Rashford or Maitland Niles and they're being played out of position they just get on with the job Milner you know what I mean so it depends what kind of player that you are me on as long as I play I don't care do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll just give 100%, but for other players, like they just feel... And I can understand, if you're a striker, you score goals, you know what is your strength. So I think it's, yeah, it's maybe a bit different for him. But no, it was an interesting uh, interview, but definitely one of those things like, don't just look at a clip here, yeah? because <laughs> this is what people do. They look at a clip and then that's it. They just, they go, they go clear. They're just like, oh, he's this, he's that, he's that, blah, blah, blah. And then you haven't even watched the full interview. Watch the full interview. And then, like, you can say, all right, cool, this is how he is. I, I, I got a bigger picture. I, mean, I just said, look, let me just watch this and just see what he's really talking about. And he's actually quite a deep guy. And there's probably a lot more layers to him as well that people know. Um, but, yeah, no, definitely give it a watch. But that's all I wanted to say about Lukaku. But, yeah, that's it. Yes, people, do us a favour, please, yeah? You see that lovely red button underneath there, yeah? The one that says subscribe, yeah? Do us a favour, click that button, yeah? And then you see that little thing that says like? or the little tick, just press that button there as well. Lovely jubbly. Thank you for all the people that watched. Like, I really appreciate it. I know it's one of them things that is going to take a while, but it's just, for me now, it's just about consistency. So that's all I'm just going to do. I'm just putting out their stuff. I don't care. Um, but it's, this, is, this is what I think. These are the things that I think of. It's not something that I'm just, oh yeah, let me just capture it or let me just video record it. This is actually the things that go, in, go on in my head. So yeah, there'll be plenty more videos or try and put out plenty more videos, but I'm just, just trial and error. So yeah, thanks for watching. Speak to you in a bit. Push.